What language do you think this is? It's not an Asian language or an African language. It's an American language, but not a Native American language. This is English, plain old American English. This is English written in the Deseret alphabet, a writing system designed to encode English spoken in Utah circa 1854. Brigham Young, then president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, charged the Board of Regents of the University of Deseret in Salt Lake City with developing a phonetic alphabet to enable children and non-English speaking immigrant converts to the religion to learn the language with ease. Do you think the Deseret alphabet is better than our current alphabet? Event? Tell me in the comments. Here is how it works. Every sound has only one letter. For example, the sound is represented by the letter F. And yes, this is what the letter F looks like. In standard English spelling, you have to figure out whether you should spell the F sound with a single F, a double F, a GH, a PH, or an FT. Not so with the Deseret alphabet, since every sound has only one letter. All these words are consistently spelled with the letter F. There are no double letters. Double letters in standard English spelling are always replaced with a single letter. In standard English spelling, some sounds can be spelled with a digraph, which is a combination of two letters such as the SH in bishop, the CH in church, and the TH in faith. There are no digraphs in the Deseret alphabet. So unlike standard English spelling, all these sounds have a dedicated single letter. Not only does every sound have only one letter, but also every letter has only one sound. In standard English spelling, the letter U can be any of several sounds. The A uh in Sun, the U in Utah, the U in Lucifer, the U uh in Put, and the W in Quad. The Deseret alphabet uses different letters for each of these sounds so that you never have to think about which sound to use. There are no silent letters in the Deseret alphabet. Alphabet. So the T in listen or the H in honesty are eliminated. There are no unnecessary letters. There are approximately 19 vowels in English, depending on the dialect and how you count them. But standard English spelling only has five vowels, which has resulted in a staggering number of letter combinations. For example, look at these different spellings just for the A sound. The intent of the Deseret alphabet was for the number of letters to always match the number of sounds. Of course, the letters represented the sounds in English at the time in Utah during the mid-1850s. Sounds, especially vowels, change over time, so while it may have been a good fit during the 1800s, updates would be needed to accurately represent the language we speak in this new millennium. The only difference between capital and lowercase letters in the Deseret alphabet is the size, so there is no need to learn a second set of letters. There is only one major criticism of the Deseret alphabet. It is missing the most common sound in the entire English language, the schwa a vowel sound found in unstressed syllables. All the vowels except the E in America are schwas. Practically every sentence in English has multiple schwas. Since the Deseret alphabet doesn't have a letter for the schwa, a workaround is to spell the sound that would be used if it were stressed. For example, the word enough starts with a schwa, but if you stress the word, you say enough, and that is how you would have to spell it. Although well designed, Deseret alphabet had two implementation problems. People who were already literate had little need for an alternative alphabet, and those learning English found many more books using the standard English alphabet. If the Deseret alphabet had caught on, it may very well have improved literacy rates throughout Utah, and then the United States, and then possibly the English-speaking world. Now I want to hear from you. Had you ever heard of the Deseret Alphabet before? Let me know in the comment section below. Now let's go back full circle to the text from the start of the video. Well, it clicks up, or I look, subscribe, mm, ow, now. Click subscribe now. If you enjoyed this video, please do exactly that and pick one of these great videos to watch next. See you in the next one.